Hi, this is Mike Callahan, Dr. Fawfinder, and welcome to your Butterscotch.com tutorial on what is adware. Now, we here at Butterscotch.com want you to be well informed and accurately informed as you go out onto the internet. And so, the term adware is often mistakenly lumped right together with the term spyware. And this, in point of fact, is not accurate. Initially, the term adware was used to refer to programs software programs that were distributed to you for free in exchange for you being willing to view ads that were presented by the software. Adware has been responsible for very many successful and very popular programs including Eudora from Qualcomm, AOL Instant Messenger from America Online, Real Player by Real Networks, and many more. In the dot-com days Many internet service providers gave you free internet access if you were willing to look at ads in your browser. Some websites mistakenly tell you that all adware is and always has been bad. This is not true. This site here, The Wise Geek, tells it like it is, talks about adware and its history, even talks about Eudora down here and what a popular program it was. It was a way to get the program for free by viewing ads, and if you didn't want to view the ads, you just paid for the program and the ads were gone. So if you're running a good anti-spyware, anti-virus product, you needn't really be concerned about adware. If you've looked around on your browser as you're traveling through the internet, you see all kinds of ads. So that's what adware is and what it has become, and that's all there is to it.